Hello once again, everyone. So today we're going to be going over a couple of Messer actions from Meister uh, Paulus Call. We're going to start off with a nice hand slice. So, right here is going to stand up in Lugis line, the watchtower. I'm going to stand down in Neighborhood, and as he comes forward with his cut, I'm going to take his wrist off. Now, if he comes forward a little bit higher, a little bit higher this time, I can catch and then step. If he comes forward low like he did the first time, it's better to instead just shoot across with the hand. Either way it works, and the depiction has the other guy sitting down on the ground, holding under the stump of the arm while I'm grinning. Now, that's the first and simplest action. Let's talk about if I hit his sword instead. From here, all I'm going to do is drop my hip and drop. Again. Just like so. He's once again dead. Now, this last time, I'm going to catch and instead close in for a Schlitznehmen or disarm. And for this, I'm going to reach forward with an inverted hand, thumb down, grab onto the pommel, grab onto his fingers, grab onto the strong of the weapon, and twist hard to my outside. Once again. And I'm just presenting my point rather than just killing it. If I want to, I can instead bring this back to a thrust and kill for the cut. I'm kind of holding in here and saying, look how good at fencing I am. Now, for our next couple, instead of coming from below, I'm also going to be up in Lugas Lawn, starting from above, and we're going to meet in a bind here. Now what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to do a cheeky takeaway. As he's going to draw his arm back for a takeoff, I'm going to step out to the side and cut his arm. Just like so. Now if I miss the arm, I can take the fingers, what have you, but you'll notice I am not standing square. I am stepping out of my back foot. So if he tries to come straight down, he'll just hit where I was. So once again, just like that. Job's good. Now this next one, I'm going to do that same disarm I just did, except this time we're going to be from the spine. I reach between the sword and myself, grab, and I'm going to use my sword to assist in the action. So now I can just jab him in the ribs. Again, a little more speed. Just like that. Now this last action, I'm going to go back to here, and I'm going to perform an arm wrap. He's going to cut nice and hard to my head. I'm going to step forward underneath the door I create, and lock up his arm. Now there's a couple different places I can go with this one. I can go at the wrist. In this case, I stay underneath, and from here I can very easily take his sword away with a turn of my hip. I can stay at the arm and get pressure onto his arm like so, which he's not a fan of. Or, and this is not an ideal, this is more of an accident. I step in very deeply here at the shoulder. Now this isn't going to hurt him. That's going to hurt him. It sets me up for a very good throw because I've got good control of his body but it leaves me more susceptible to the counter, which I will not answer. So, how this works, I cut down, as he's wrapping my arm, I flip the sword back onto his shoulder and catch it, press forward against his face, catching his sword, jamming his motion, or just reassigning his priorities. I'm then going to step forward with my left foot which is countering his grab and forcing him back onto the ground. So one more time for that one. And we're done. Just a little bit of message for you all. And I'll show you some other techniques another time.